Occasionally, there might be a situation in which you want to take a look at the uh, underlying data for a product in WooCommerce. So I'm going to take you on a quick tour of where the product information is located in the database. So right now, I'm showing you a page with a Coleman three-person tent with Rainfly. And if we go to Edit Product, you'll see that that particular product is um, post 3319. Um, so post 3319, uh, Coleman three-person tent with Rainfly, and uh, here's the description. You'll notice that this is a, um, a product part. Um, that's just one type of product within this particular store. Um, it could be a simple product, group product, variable product. It doesn't matter. The important thing that we want to keep in mind is that this is a post. So you can see post.php. That's actually... Um, the uh, the file that's processing this edit product uh, page on the back end. And so we'll keep that in mind as we go over to uh, the database to poke around. So let's go over to our database. And one of the things we're going to look at is we're going to look at the actual um, table, the WP posts table. And you can see in the WP post table, we have um, all of these posts. And there's this column called post type. So page, attachment, revision, nav menu item. All of these are post types. Um, and then we have product as well. And so uh, remember on the last page when I mentioned that we have post.php and that this is post 3319. Um, a product, every product is actually just a post with a particular post type. So uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to take a look at um, all of the posts that have the type product. So in order to do that, we'll go ahead and change the query. And I'll post all the queries that I'm posting here in the video description. So we'll go ahead and click go. You can see when I click go, it shows us all of the products. Now, um, these posts can be in different states. So they can be a draft, they can be published, and this is actually where draft and published uh, changes. All right, post type. So you see these are all product post types. Now, we want to take a look at this particular product, the Coleman three-person tent with Rainfly, so that we can take a look at more of the information related to it. So. We're going to come back in here, click inline, and then I'm going to put this particular query uh, in the box. And what this says is select all of the posts from the WP post table or select all the records from WP post table where the ID is 3319 and the post type is a product. So you can see this is post ID 3319. So that's what we're going to select right now. And so if you see uh, in here, we have set up, uh, uh, set up camp in a compact yet spacious tent, Coleman three-person tent with Rainfly. Uh, everything is the same as what's on the product description um, and the product title. So this is where the, um, the product lives. Um, but there's more information. If you look through here, you can see there's um, pricing, there's tax status, there's inventory levels, there's SKUs, and none of that information exists in this particular record. So where does it live? Well, to find that information, we have to go to the WP post meta table. So let's go to the WP post meta table. You can see in here, there's a bunch of post meta and there's a particular column that we're interested in, the post ID. So what we'll do is we will look for the post ID 3319 in this particular table. So let's say select all of the records from WP post meta where post ID equals 3319. Click go. So you can see that the records that are returned um, are all of those additional options that exist in the edit product area. So right now, regular price is $50. And 
and I just refreshed it to make sure that that is the most current accurate price. And now I'm going to go into the database. I don't see price here, so I'm going to click show all. And we'll look for regular price. It looks like regular price is right down here. So we'll click on that record and we'll just change it to $49 and let it save the result. And now when we refresh this page, the regular price is $49. Now I don't recommend going directly into the database to play around with pricing and things like that. But in the case that you need to do some bulk edits, uh, or make some make some changes that you can't make on the front end of the website. Uh, this is this is where you can do that with uh, with products.